weeks ago, I was home for break watching the Masters Golf Tournament with my dad. And in between listening to him scream louder and louder during each replay of the first double eagle on the second hole of Augusta, and trying to remember what that chip in for triple bogey felt like in seventh grade, my thoughts got interrupted when I saw this commercial. If you made a list of countries from around the world with the best math scores, the United States would be on that list in 25th place. Let's raise academic standards across the nation. Let's get back to the head of the class. Let's solve this. Now, commercials like these played over and over again during the golf tournament. It is well known that the United States lags behind in math compared to other countries, and ExxonMobil supports raising the bar so that we can compete with these other countries on a global scale. The US race for global supremacy, competition, raising the bar, higher standards. We've heard this all before, but something that I truly believe is that in order to ultimately raise the bar on US math achievement, we must first change the bar. I think we're missing out on the big picture if we teach math only to compete in the global economy. We become participants in a power struggle for world dominance, a struggle which we are clearly losing. And I think if we see math literacy as a race, we end up racing to nowhere. I propose that we change the bar of math education by teaching just math, in which we use math as a tool to understand, challenge, and change the injustices in society. And the funny thing about just math is that it's not just math. There's so much more, including the social, emotional, and psychological needs of people, as well as the natural environment in which we live. Even if we do accept the importance of economic dominance in the world, math literacy for all people is important. Equality and justice are economic necessities. I'm studying to be a math teacher, and I'm looking forward to incorporating just math in my class. Here's why. Math empowers. The context in which we teach math problems are that we teach math problems do and will have an impact on our students. We must not only teach them the content of math, but also how math can be used as a tool to change the world. Why not design an intentional curriculum that incorporates just math? Without doing so, we mistakenly reinforce the status quo. What would just math look like? Would it def well, it definitely would be more than hundreds and hundreds of practice problems that American teachers are so good at assigning. Traditional math classes teach a skill at the beginning of class and give students time during the rest of the class period to complete problems. 10 or 20 practice problems, sometimes 30. Here's an example of a solving proportions worksheet. By bringing justice into the math class, we give students less problems to think about. And these carefully selected problems have meaningful context get students excited about learning, and foster critical thinking skills. Just math includes increasing access to quality math instruction for all people, yet it doesn't let go unchallenged the structures that created the injustices in the first place. Rich contexts for math can provide this. Here's how you can go about incorporating just math into, the math into your math curriculum. Consider this problem. In a survey of Chicago, there were 98 total supermarkets in 41 zip code areas labeled as non-poor. If there was an equal proportion of supermarkets in poor and non-poor zip code areas, how many would there be in the 12 zip code areas surveyed that were labeled as poor? Assume that each zip code area has the same population. Now students who know proportions would set up the equation like this and they would use cross multiplication to solve for x and find that if the proportions were indeed equal, you would estimate 29 supermarkets in the poor zip code areas. I then would tell the students that data shows that in actuality, there are only 19 supermarkets in this, in, in the non-poor areas. Critical questions develop. What does this mean? Why does this matter? And what can we do about this? The definition of a food desert could be introduced. 
and a discussion would follow on the injustices inherent in this situation. Students could write letters to city council members and legislators as a class activity. And isn't that what social justice is all about? Empo empowering people to solve the problems of inequity in society. A similar problem using proportions would show that we could estimate 84 liquor selling establishments in the 12 poor zip code areas. However, data would show us that there are 137 liquor selling establishments. Just math also includes posing questions that teachers don't even know the answers to, which I think is a good thing, a really good thing. We must be aware of the way in which we teach these concepts. Just because we bring about justice in the math curriculum does not necessarily mean that we are, we are educating as a practice of freedom. We need to incorporate democratic principles, acknowledge students' voice, and allow time for some real quality discussion. Standards need to be met, standards need to be met, students do need to practice skills to a certain extent and memorize their math facts. Additionally, just math doesn't need to be included every day in order to be effective. Research tells us that students learn math when they make connections, connections to the real world. Yet oftentimes this real world involves shopping, banking, building, and baking. We are teaching our students that math is useful in a limited context. We must now show them that how math can be used as a tool to change the world. We must add injustice to the list. We can't wait for Microsoft Word to create, a term, create clip art for the term injustice so that we can put it on the top of worksheets that we copy. <laughs> knowing that we are 25th in the world in math doesn't bother me as much as knowing that we are pushing students through a system that doesn't ask them to challenge the status quo. That we are still living in a country that doesn't question injustice and inequality enough that we are replicating a society that this push for higher standards is trying so hard to avoid. We must question, is our math curriculum incarcerating students or liberalizing them? Is it empowering for children of all backgrounds and cultures? Is it helping them uncover stereotypes, understand history, and think critically about society? Without a doubt, our students will change the world. Why not use math to help them do so? Now, I've never been in a commercial before, and I probably never will, but this is my attempt to improve the first commercial we saw because I didn't think it was just right. If you made a list of countries from around the world with the best math scores, yes, the United States would be on that list in 25th place. Let's build on the foundation of our country. Let's capitalize on the idea of change, of improvement, and of justice. Let's change the bar of math education with just math, because if you change it in the right direction, you might just raise it too. I challenge you to demand more of your education and your children's education. Demand that justice be taught in school, not only in math, but in all subjects. Thank you.